Well, it would seem that AWS had a bit of the case of the Mondays today. At least it's still today. When I'm filming this, it's Monday, October 20th, 2025. Today, AWS experienced a major outage impacting thousands of customers around the world. And actually, the problems began late Sunday night when the Network Operations Center noticed elevated errors coming from DynamoDB. Now, DynamoDB, in addition to being used by many customers around the world, is also used extensively within AWS behind the scenes. It's one of those foundational services like S3 that if it has problems, then it has the potential to impact many other services. And unfortunately, it did. 140 other services according to the issue log. The root cause? This lovely haiku comes to mind. It's not the DNS. There's no way it's the DNS. It was the DNS. About two hours after the initial alarms, a mitigation was put in place and it seemed to fix the DynamoDB issues. However, because DynamoDB is so elemental in AWS and used by so many other services, the ripple effects of that original issue would take probably about another 12 hours to work themselves out, if I remember the timing. EC2 launches, load balancers, Lambda, IAM, they all took hits. And because these were also foundational services as well, it extended the reach far beyond DynamoDB. Now, usually when something like this happens, AWS does a really good job at really digging into the root cause and publishing a detailed event report on the issue. And I'm sure we'll see that come out in the next few days. Important, and that's praying to the computer science gods that none of our code will break during my sleep. So that aged like milk. I happen to be the on-call engineer for my team at Amazon at one of the worst times of the entire decade. I was paged over 50 times throughout the entire night and had zero sleep. If you didn't already know, there was a major outage at 12 a.m. last night for AWS. This outage pretty much took down the entire internet. So apps like Venmo, Uber, Fidelity, Coinbase, even airlines and banks. And it's causing billions and billions of dollars of lost revenue every hour. You can kind of think of AWS as the foundation of all of these apps. And once something goes wrong with the foundation or AWS in this case, it takes everything down with it. So why did this happen? There was problems with the DNS resolution and connectivity with EC2, specifically in the US East 1 region. And if you don't already know, everything is hosted in US East 1. This issue happened at 12 a.m. PST, which is when I got paged and woken up. And no, I don't work in AWS. And no, I was not the root cause of this issue. So all of my friends, please stop asking me. I don't know. This whole experience, especially working front hand in Amazon, is really eye-opening.